Yo, what's good with you on today's video? I got the how to make finishers video, combat finishers and stuff. If you don't know what that is, it's like in Battlegrounds games where um pretty much uh like you use a regular ability, but then um if like the the enemy you're fighting and stuff is low on health, it'll play like a special like cutscene or something like that. I'm not doing a cutscene or anything. I'm just showing you how to like check to see if they're low and then like just play a special attack. And I'm giving you an example and stuff as it is a special attack. It's just not nothing like fancy stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead, let's create a remote event, head on over to replicated storage, click the plus icon, insert a remote event, rename that remote event to combat event boom then we're going to head on over to oh the sound service um i do have two two sounds i got them from the toolbox and stuff it's a kick sound punch sound just go to the toolbox and search for sounds in combat sounds and you'll find a whole bunch so open up starter player then inside the starter player scripts we're going to click the plus icon and then i'm going to insert a local script and then i'm going to rename said script to combat script parentheses i'm going to put local i'm going to delete print hello world i'm going to create two variables first i'm going to create a variable for the user input service so i'm going to say local uis it's equal to game get service user input service then i'm going to create a variable for the combat event so combat event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child combat event then i'm going to set up the function i'm going to say uis that input began connect function in parentheses put input comma process which is pretty much just a uh, way to check to make sure that the player is not typing in chat then um enter you're then going to say if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot keyboard and not processed right again just checking to make sure that they're not typing in chat then we're, we're going to use an if statement we're going to say if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code choose whatever keybind you want i'm going to go with e enter then we're going to fire the remote event we're going to say combat event fire server in quotation marks put ability right then i'm going to head on over to the server side and we're going to take care of that stuff so if i open up server script service you'll see i have two animations and stuff again i get all my animations <clears throat> i get everything from the um the toolbox and everything so you guys can get all your stuff from there or make it yourself whichever one is your preference so we're going to click the plus icon we're going to insert a server script then we're going to insert our animations into the script if we don't know how click the plus icon type animation boom make sure you name it accordingly and throw your id in there and yeah so let's go ahead and get straight into it okay rename the script to combat script in parentheses put server boom then we're going to delete print hello world we're going to create a few variables so first we're going to get our services so let's get the sound service local ss is equal to game get service sound service we're going to make a basic m1 system and stuff and then and then we're going to make it so it's like on the final one it's like or not the final one um when a player gets low enough then they'll be able to use it so or like when the enemy they're fighting is low enough so then we're going to get the service local ds is equal to game get service debris then we're going to create a variable for the combat event again so combat event is equal to game the replicated storage wait for child combat event then i'm going to set up the first function which is just setting up a hitbox so game dot player that player added connect function in parentheses put plr but just for the player then you press enter then player dot character added connect function in parentheses put character enter then we're going to create the hitbox so we're going to say local hitbox is equal to instance dot new quotation marks part parent this parts to the characters humanoid root part enter you're then going to say hitbox dot name is equal to hitbox enter then we're going to set some properties hitbox dot mass list is equal to true hitbox dot anchored is equal to false hitbox dot can collide is equal to false Hitbox.transparency is equal to one unless you're testing. Hitbox.size is equal to vector three dot new. Five comma six comma two point five. Hitbox dot color this is for testing is equal to color three dot new one comma zero comma zero so red or whatever color you want. Then lastly we're gonna set a C frame so hitbox pivot two character dot humanoid root part dot C frame. Then we're going to weld the hitbox to the character similar root part. So we're going to create some weld a weld constraint. So weld constraint is equal to instance.new weld constraint, right? 
Then I'm going to say world constraint at part zero is equal to hitbox. World constraint at part one is equal to character dot humanoid root part, right? And then I'm going to move on to the second function. I'm going to say combat event at on server events connect function in parentheses, in parentheses put PLR, which is short for the player, comma event type, enter, create a variable for the player's character. So local character is equal to player dot character. Let's go down a little bit. Then we're going to set up an if statement. We're going to say, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to say if event type is equal to ability, enter, right? Then we're going to use some raycasting and say local start position is equal to character dot humanoid root part dot hitbox dot position. Then we're gonna set the direction. So direction is equal to character dot humanoid root part oh my bad dot hitbox dot uh oh my bad c frame dot look vector. So yeah, I will probably make mistakes not gonna lie to y'all. It's been a minute since I've recorded a video, so bear with me, guys. But anyway, we're going to start setting up our Raycast parameters. So we're going to say local Raycast params is equal to Raycast params dot new, close parentheses, enter. Raycast params dot filter type is equal to enum dot Raycast filter type dot exclude. Raycast params dot filter descendants instances is equal to character. Didn't mean to put a space there. Character get descendants, right? Then we are done with that. Then we're going to set up an if statement. Or sorry, we're going to first create the array, then set up the if statement. So let's create array. Array is equal to workspace. Array cast. Start position, comma, direction. Multiply this times uh, whatever value works for you. I recommend a value between like three to six. I'm going to put five, comma, array cast params. Then I'm going to set up an if statement. If ray and ray.instance so i made contact with something and ray.instance.name is equal to hitbox we know it's a player <clears throat> or i guess npc so hitbox then create a variable for the enemy character so enemy character is equal to ray.instance.parent dot parent then we're going to set it then we're going to set the if statement here's where the whole like checking to see their health part comes in so we're going to say if enemy character dot humanoid dot health is greater than or equal to 10 right so if it's greater than or equal to 10 you would set that value you set 10 to like you could change 10 to whatever you want and stuff but i'm just going to say 10 right so let's say that a player has to uh have like a like you can only use a finisher or like the finisher move only like play and stuff like that when a person is less they have less than 10 health and stuff if they have more if they have 10 or more health then uh we'll just play like a regular ability and th that'll just be a regular m1 so let's set up our animation track at is equal to character dot humanoid dot animator load animation in parentheses put script dot um punch animation then at play right then we'll play the punch sound effect so play then you know take away some health so enemy character dot humanoid that health is less than equal equal to five then we're gonna have a little damage effect then i'm gonna say four i comma v impairs i'm gonna say enemy character get children enter you're gonna say if v is a part or v is a mesh part enter right then you're gonna create a highlight you're gonna say local highlight to give it the little damaged effect so it's equal to instance that new highlight parent this to v then highlight dot adorni is equal to v highlight dot fill color is of course you know going to be red so color three dot new one comma zero comma zero then highlight dot outline color i'm just make this white so color three dot new we could say like 250 by 250 or 255 and then boom after we're done with that we're gonna skip two ends then we're gonna add some not then we're gonna add some knockback and stuff but just like little knockback and stuff right the reason i'm having knockback on each punch is because like even though this is just a basic m1 system it's also considered like an ability and stuff because obviously there are no finishers with m1s in battlegrounds games it's with skills but obviously i don't feel like making a regular a real skill so we're just gonna use m1s so I'm going to say local attachment is equal to instance dot new attachment parent this to the enemy characters humanoid 
root part, then set up a linear velocity. So linear velocity is equal to instance.new linear velocity. Turn that to the attachment, right? Then I'm going to say linear velocity dot vector velocity, right? Is equal to in parentheses enemy character dot humanoid root part dot position. I feel like I spelled that wrong. Yep, I did. Position minus character dot humanoid root part dot position go on the outside. Put dot unit times uh, vector three dot new. And then you're going to put uh, 20 comma 0 comma 40 or and you can adjust these values though so you can set that whatever you want but yeah then I'm gonna say linear velocity dot max force is equal to math dot huge right I'm just gonna leave that there um and then I'm gonna say linear velocity dot relative to I'm gonna set this to nm this is a little different than what I usually do Accurator, accu, 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 I don't know what that says, but accu, whatever, relative to, yep, yep, there we go. And then we're gonna, and then we're gonna say world, and then we're gonna say linear velocity dot attachment zero is equal to attachment, right? Then we're going to use the debris service so so that you know the knockback is brief. So not add tag, add item, you know. Then you're gonna add the attachment, and then it's straight after zero point one, there's zero point two seconds. Then I'm going to throw a task that weight, task that weight 0.2 seconds so that their body will return to normal. We can copy and paste this. We're going to actually copy and paste this a lot because for the finishing move, the finisher, it's a lot of effects. You're just repeating the same thing. So it's like, yeah, but you guys will understand what I mean when we get there. So yeah, so I'm, so I'm just doing it like this. Um, And all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete. I'm actually going to delete all of this. Or wait, I think delete all of this. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then. So yeah, we're going to remove this. Then we'll say if v find first child highlight. So if it finds a highlight, right? V find first child highlight. Then v dot highlight destroy. That simple, right? Then we're gonna skip three ends, and then now we're gonna add the finisher code. So we're gonna say else if enemy character right dot humanoid dot health. And then we're going to say is less than 10. So if their health is less than 10, then this is the finish move. Here's where you're going to put all your special little cutscene code and all that. If that's what you, you know, you do. I won't be doing that, but yeah. So we're going to set up an animation track. It's going to be different, of course. So is equal to character dot humanoid dot animator load animation. This time we're going to say script dot combo animation. So I pretty much just got a combo animation. Again, I get all the stuff from the toolbox. AT play, right? Then first play a punch sound because like it's doing like three different punches and a kick. So we're gonna so this is what I mean when I said we're gonna do a lot of copy and pasting. So you really need to lock in and pay attention, um, or else you're gonna be confused. Okay. So we're gonna go up here and I'm gonna copy this, right? Y'all don't should know what this is. This is what we um what's it called? This is what we did, you know, with the effects. So we're gonna copy, we're gonna copy that, we're gonna come down here and um Okay, yeah, we're gonna put this here. So control V to paste. Then I'm gonna wait. Task out wait 0 0.2 seconds because I want their body to turn red every time they're hit and then turn back to normal and then you know repeat the cycle. So you guys will probably have to adjust the task out wait times depending on your animation and stuff. You guys will probably have to adjust that and especially like for your sound effects because we'll probably be using different animations and different sound effects. You'll have to adjust some of this stuff. But yeah, so we have that. And then afterwards, I'm going to copy and paste the destroying, the destroying function. Um, let me delete that breakpoint. Okay. So we're going to copy and paste all this way. That's one end, that's two end, that's three. Okay, yeah, so I know. Okay. But yeah, so control C, boom, destroy them. Like we're literally just like kind of going in order. Then I'm going to set the sound effect punch that time position is equal to zero. Right. And then after, I'm going to play it again because it's the second one. So punch play, right? Then I'm gonna do the whole thing again. So copy and paste, control V. We're literally saving ourselves some time. As long as you just pay attention, um, you should be fine. And stuff, you shouldn't really get confused and stuff. Um, but yeah. Then after that, test our wait 0 0.1 seconds. Again, you may have to adjust the time. Come up here. We're gonna destroy it again. Control C, control V, and stuff. This is like this is way faster 
than like us just manually typing all of this over and over again. Then task that wait 0 0.2 seconds. Then it's the same thing right here. Control C, Control V, right? Then we're going to do the whole highlight thing again, Control C. So after that, boom, Control V. Then you're going to go after that. You're going to say task that wait 0 0.3 seconds. Then you're going to destroy them again. Stuff. Control C, Control V, right? Destroy them, and then just like that, now we're going to do the knockback, which is it. And this, since it's a finisher, that means they're going to be dead afterwards. We're going to like knock them back even further, even further this time. So test that way, zero more three seconds. The great thing is we already did the knockback, so all we got to do is just scroll all the way up here, and just go get this get this part of the code. Control C, come back down. Control V, right? Control plus V, I should say. But yeah, so everything everything is the same except you just want to change forty to 90 or whatever you want it to be the whole point is you just want them to be knocked back further and stuff that's just the whole point of it so yeah so boom then test out wait 0.1 second 0.1 second seconds or yeah seconds or one less a second so bad anyway so then um we're gonna destroy the highlights one last wait. Wait, wait 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 Man, I'm confused. Wait, wait, wait. We made the highlights before the knockback. Wait, 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 wait. Now I'm confused. Dang. Now I feel... And uh, I was just telling y'all to pay attention. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta think. We destroyed it. Okay, so we... Okay, so that should be right here. And then... Oh, so that should be right there. Okay. After that, we destroy it. Boom. The color. Um. Yeah. I'm confused now because this is looking different. Okay, so it was saying 0 0.3, then there's 0 0.3 up there, and then it's supposed to be. Yeah, this isn't really making sense. Okay. Well, I'm going to just continue on, guys, and we're just going to have to hope for the best. If it looks weird, then I'll probably just have to, like, redo it. So, it, so it should be fine. Um, So, I'll pl so I will play the kick sound effect. So, kick, play, then we will set the enemy character's humanoid rule part. Or, sorry, humanoid.health. We'll set its health equal to zero. This should be dead. Then we'll create the highlights one last time and then destroy them. So you can really just copy and paste like that, all that. Control C, Control V, and then just change this to 0 0.1. And then now that should be it. We are, yeah, we're gonna have to see. But just not gonna lie. But yeah, let's go ahead and test to make sure this works. As always, if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. I highly recommend that. Link is in the description if you're interested. And yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to go here. Here's how you test by the way. Let me just double check to make sure. Okay, I'm good So you would go here find your human and root part find the hitbox Um, Where's the hitbox? Box parent to be character not human and root part Um I'm a tad bit confused. I'm not gonna lie what is going on? Wait, did like the hitbox like fall out of my? Is that what it is? Like, is it like falling? I'm confused now. What? Wait, because this was me and I did something wrong with this part. Okay, so player dot character added connect function character part character dot humanoid root part. Hitbox character human rule part part one. Oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. I forgot to parent the well constraint to the hitbox. So make sure you do that. Okay. Forgot to parent that. Okay. So now we click play. Boom. Open it up. Boom. Now we have the hitbox. Okay. And then there we go. Looking good. Okay. So then copy it. Stop. You're then going to click avatar rig builder. Don't want to whatever kind of avatar you want. Let me see where my spawn is. Okay, right there. All right. 
you're going to right click into the human, human root part you're going to paste into set it to 0 0.5 so you can adjust it probably have to drag it down okay so move it down so boom right and then transparency to one then here here's what we'll do i will set the npc's health to like 15 so that we don't have to like spend too much time on this let's see okay so press e okay i'm pressing e and nothing is happening okay i am pressing e and nothing is happening i'm wondering if it's because of the force field it is not because of the force field okay if input dot key in ability part of ability player event time hmm. to hit box Hmm. Deep to be okay. Free then you get the sun. Hmm. Very strange. Oh, oh, I know why, I know why, I know why. My bad, I forgot something. Okay, so the hitbox. Also, make sure you weld it. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you said it's. Make sure you weld it. That's why it probably fell off. Okay. Now. There we go. Okay. So you guys see we got. You guys see we can punch them. A little knockback. Right. And then here's what should happen for the finisher. Yes, he's supposed to play this. Okay, attempt to call an in a instance value. Okay, that is a mistake I made. SS dot punch. Oh my bad. So there should have been SS dot punch. Uh, dot or not dot play. Uh, my bad. Play. That's what it should have been. Okay. So simple little fix for that. Okay, now let's. See. Oh, okay. So it does look good. Okay, okay. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, um, it's weird. I thought I made a mistake when I was comparing it, but I guess I was wrong. Well, anyway, so yeah. So this is so this is the finisher that'll play whenever they're uh have uh less than ten health. Then it'll just yeah kick them into oblivion, pretty much, or not oblivion, but just you know far away. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. Stuff. Let me know any more any kind of other kind of videos you guys want to see and stuff. Sorry for the delay with videos. I know I've been missing some days and stuff like that. College is ha college has me busy and stuff like that. But I promise, I got some stuff coming out. The beginner series will have more videos dropping and stuff like that. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank God for watching.